a brief journey into australian literature for beginners what is australian literature it is the written or literary work produced in the area or by the people of commonwealth of australia and its preceding colonies commonwealth of australia what does it mean it is a country comprising the mainland of australian continent and numerous smaller islands so in simple any literary work of art produced in australia is said to be australian literature what does it mean to be an australian who australians are what sort of people they are what they like and really what it means to be an australian and to belong to the australian culture these are the questions raised by beginners of literature thus we are going to see answers for all these questions what is australia famous for the country australia is world famous for its natural wonders and wide open spaces its beaches deserts kangaroos and mainly the bush the bush is the shrubbery growth of plants that is abundantly seen in australia now the term has become vernacular of australia and refers to a natural undeveloped and unpopulated area what are the terms associated with australian literature the first one is aboriginals who are called aboriginals these are the people who were already existed in a land from the earliest times before the arrival of colonists thus these people are termed as native or indigenous people of australia because they are the ones who had been in the country from the earliest times what are the languages spoken in australia it is believed that there were almost 400 australian aboriginal or native languages at the time of european settlement most of these are now dead with only about 15 languages still being spoken among native tribes thus australia has no official language and according to 2016 census english is the only language spoken by 73 percentage of the population australian english is a major variety of the language with a distinctive pronunciation and lexicon it also differs slightly from the varieties of english in grammar and spelling thus most of the literary works of australia are a mixture of native language and english This is deliberately done by writers to keep people connected to culture from generation to generation. It also strengthens the feelings of pride of their own culture and self-worth. The background to Australian literature. Australian literature really began in the more recent times. The reason is because the Aboriginal people did not have a written history or a literature. They told their stories and their history through by word of mouth like oral literature. It is like a mother would tell the child and then the child would tell their children. As a result there are no history books or ancient aboriginal pieces of literature. This means that while they had over 400 languages and while they do have an extremely rich culture this really wasn't the focus in aboriginal society. Thus the real literature of Australia began with the European settlement in the year 1788. and this was the real beginning of modern australian literature so this is where literature began and this is where we will begin looking at in the history of australian literature common themes in australian literature it is really important to understand the common themes which is prevalent in different types of australian literature Although the Australian works which we are going to be looking at spread probably over 200 years there are some common themes which you can see in all these different works The first one is there is a difference between the aboriginal culture and this new white culture the way they have been clashed and the way they have been resolved is the central theme in Australian literature Next Australian literature also focuses on the idea of exile A lot of Australian works focus on the theme of isolation and this fear of being alone on a big lonely island of Australia. They also portray the terrible fear of what this new rough bush country of Australia held for them. The migrant experience is also something which has really focused on in many Australian works. Next, the relationship between human being and the place in nature is a very common theme in Australian literature. thus these are something which australian literature focused on not only in history but also in present
there are four eras or branches of australian literature which we are going to see one by one the first one is called the ripping yarn the second one is bush poetry the third one is the development of 20th century australian works and the fourth one the aboriginal writers who have developed though not necessarily in history but more recently have developed in order to tell and spread the aboriginal stories let's begin by examining the idea of ripping yarn the meaning for the term ripping yarn is exciting or thrilling the ripping yarn is probably australia's oldest literary convention writers in this genre express their new struggles in this new unfamiliar and scary land the ripping yarn tells tales of daring feats in a new and unknown place and these tales are really adventure stories they involve stories about natural disasters fights and exploration this means the dramatic things like fights against snakes droughts terrors of wild horses escaping convicts and clashes with the aboriginal people the novel robbery and the roams written by thomas alexander brownie is the best example of ripping yarn story all these sort of ripping yarn ideas were really quite new to the people who were back in england thus this literature was not only about developing the new australian identity but also spreading ideas back to europe about what this new settlement in australia really meant the second genre of australian literature is called bush poetry bush poetry is perhaps the most famous of all of australia's genres and definitely considered to be the thing which most defines the australian identity So for example we see the famous author and poet Henry Lawson who is considered to be the poet of the people Henry Lawson also compared with the famous poet Banjo Paterson They were quite jovial and quite funny authors and poets who not only wrote folk songs and poems and ballads but also wrote with the little competitions between each other Next the national and iconic Australian soul Walsing Matilda was written during this time It is Australia's best known bush ballad and has been considered as the country's unofficial national anthem. The lyrics of this ballad were written by Banjo Paterson in the year 1895. It is really a good example of the way in which Australian identity was captured through ballad and song through this bush era. Adam Lindsay Gordon was another poet who existed during this time and he is considered to be the national poet of Australia. we then move on to the era of 20th century australian works in this era we really see new modern development writers in this era of australian literature explore new controversial themes they express feminism multiculturalism and issues like mental illness which perhaps had previously not been addressed so we have australian poets who are definitely prominent during this era for example the poet judy thright We also have the poet Gen Howwood who focused on a number of issues for example the relationship between a mother and a child and that's definitely a motif throughout Howwood's work We also have the poet Ken Lazar and Les Murray These sorts of poets focused on new issues such as mental illness land other poets like Peter Minter and Judith Beveridge through new conventions and new stylistic ideas really aim to create a new era of poetry in Australian literature Australian novelists were also very prominent during this period so we have the more traditional Miles Franklin who is really national Australian literature icon for example her work my brilliant career focuses on the plight of the girl living in the bush We also have the novelists Colin Tilley and David Malloff, Patrick White and Peter Carey who really focused on relationship between person and nature. We now move on to the fourth era of Australian literary works and that is Aboriginal Rise. As we previously discussed, Aboriginal authors did not begin even though Aboriginals were living thousands and thousands of years in Australia before European settlement. The very oral tradition means that not much was written down however it is only noticed recently in Australian history that the plight of aboriginals under white people is actually a significant issue which needs to be expressed and obviously literature is a really good way to express ideas 
This means that Australian writers such as Jack Davis, Kevin Gilbert and Woodgarrow Nonkal were sort of aboriginal writers who became quite famous in this period for spreading the aboriginal story which had previously just been completely untold and forgotten by the white settlement. They provided an expression of culture and basically insight into the aboriginal struggle in dealing with issues such as separation from their family ties. They also focus on issues such as loss of connection with their land through their removal by white settlement. Thus, Australian literature is a variety of genres and pays way to express the true culture of aboriginals. Thank you.